Um, it's a nice round number. <laughs> and uh, I've had some more important ones than the one um, today, but uh, nevertheless, it's nice to reach such milestones, you know. Um, been around and I also was one of those guys who struggled early on in the Masters 1000s. I know how hard um, it is to win all these matches because it's always against top 50 players most likely, if not top 20, if not top 10. So from that standpoint, um, I'm obviously happy with that it is uh, at 300, you know, it's nice. Um, I think we both sort of struggled um, throughout the match, you know, the ball flies quite a bit here. Historically, it's always been the case. And um, I tried to make him play as much as I could, you know, but when he serves well or when I served well, there was weren't many rallies. And when there were rallies, there was no rhythm. So from that standpoint, I think we both uh, struggled. Um, um, the break I got, uh, I think, at the end of the second was a tough one to get. I don't know what happened exactly to, to build down love 30, but there was the one point where I never thought that... Um, him retrieving at love 15 was ever going to make it and somehow the ball stayed in uh, and that may probably cost me the game instead of being up you know 15 all on even terms um, I went down love 30 which I think ended up costing me the set and the break and um, then uh, I guess important was to stay calm even though it was frustrating for most of the match uh, in the third set I, th I sensed that he was getting a bit tired I heard he was a bit injured as well last week so maybe not in the best of shape right now and you know in terms of physically but uh, I, I was able to take advantage of that and um, you know uh, close it out so I'm, I'm happy uh, things finished more positive at the end